The Mini-Z Water Vapor Desorption System, brought to you by RBD Instruments. The concept of the Mini-Z is that it's a small UV emitter that sits inside of the tube, a 2 and 3 quarter inch or 4.5 inch tube on your small vacuum chamber or load lock. The emitter does not protrude into the chamber unless you want it to. It can go in about a half an inch or so. It's mounted on a nipple, the flange mounts to the nipple, the supply mounts to the flange. We're calling it a Mini-Z, it's based on the Zero Clearance UV Emitter, or z -Cube. Unlike the z -Cube, there is no window between the emitter and the chamber. Now this is based on our normal UVB100 water vapor desorption product. In this case, the emitter is rather long at about 10 inch and it protrudes inside of the chamber. Um, it comes in two basic flavors, a two and three quarter inch CF or a uh, KF flange. And in this graph you can see the effect that depending on how long you leave the UVB on for, the water vapor desorption is increased for a period of time and the net result is that you get a faster pump down. This shows a Mini-Z mounted on a two and three quarter inch flange. Here we have a side view of the Mini-Z and it's actually powered up in a tiny little test chamber. Another view so you can see the, the lamp. This is actually a Mini-Z 2.75 but we mounted it on a 4.5 inch flange for the purpose of this video. And so as the lamp warms up over the period of a couple of minutes it gets, gets fairly bright. This is our test stand. It's uh, basically a, um, a small chamber with a 60 liter turbo pump, a 3.5 CFM mechanical pump, RGA, and of course the Mini-Z. There's our Balzer's turbo pump. And the TCP-121 controller and a, a TC gauge. Okay, it's rather dry here in Bend, Oregon, where we live, and so for the purposes of this test, we had to increase the amount of water vapor in our little test chamber. So to do that, we put a small amount of distilled water onto a piece of paper, and we let that soak up for a little bit. And then we carefully fold the paper so that we don't get any water actually on the chamber, that the, the water is inside of the, the way we folded it. And we insert it into the chamber. And we close it back up. And we wait for about 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes later, We were going to remove the paper, and we had also inserted a humidity monitor so we could see what the humidity would be. And it's increased up to about uh, 65, 63% from 27%. So we will close the load lock hatch. and we will start the pump down process. So I'll first turn on the mechanical pump to start roughing the chamber and then I will turn on the turbo pump controller and then I will turn on the Mini-Z and both for the Mini-Z and for the UVB100 you want to start pumping fairly almost immediately as, as soon as you start pumping you can turn it on but basically it starts becoming effective after the vacuum gets below about 100 millitor. Okay, we can see that the Mini-Z lamp turned on. Vacuum starting to come down. Okay, here the lamp is increasing in brightness.
Okay, now that we've been pumping for a few minutes, um, if our TC gauge indicated that we're down in the minus 3 range or lower, it's safe to turn on the ion gauge. All right, the uh, pressure's coming up a little bit from the ion gauge turning on. We're getting a little uh, gassing, degassing, and then that will start pumping back down. Okay, this graph shows the normal pump down rate and the increase in the water vapor, water and uh, CO that we're monitoring with an RGA when we turn the Mini-Z on and then when we turn it off we can see that the CO comes back down and the, the water vapor desorption rate starts returning to the normal rate. This is typically what you'll see. You'll see some kind of an increase in the rate of water vapor desorption when the Mini-Z or UVB100 are on. And here we're looking at the ion gauge. And what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the Mini-Z off and see what the effect is on the ion gauge reading. And we can see that it drops from 1 by 6. It comes down into the high 7s and on its way down to the mid 7s fairly quickly. So what that represents is that difference is not the heat of the lamp because the lamp doesn't really get that hot. So what it is really, it's an effect of the 185 nanometer UVC radiation desorbing water vapor off the inside of the chamber wall. Okay, if we turn the Mini-Z back on, see that the reading comes back up to the 1 by 6 range where it was. So the effect with the Mini-Z is it does desorb water vapor. It's going to be more noticeable if you have a lot more water vapor in your chamber, but the small chambers tend to pump down fairly quickly anyway because they're, they're smaller volume. So again, this graph shows the increased rate of desorption versus the normal rate of desorption with the Mini-Z on and then off. This slide shows that during the initial pump down, with the Mini-Z on, the rate of water vapor desorption is increased, and therefore the vacuum is not as good. It doesn't pump down as quickly because you're putting more water vapor into the chamber. Now at the other end of the spectrum, after pumping, leaving the Mini-Z on for 15 minutes, turning it off, and then looking at what happens 60 minutes later, we can see that the Mini-Z reaches a lower ultimate vacuum, 4.89 times 10 to the minus 6 versus 6.55 times 10 to the minus 6 for the normal pump down. And also, the Mini-Z reached that 6.55 by 10 to the minus 6 in 48 minutes versus 61 minutes for without the Mini-Z. So what this shows is that the Mini-Z can effectively desorb water vapor in small chambers and load locks. Um, it, Depending on your pumping, what type of pump you have, and the size of the chamber and other variables, it's going to determine what the net result is. But the conclusion is that the Mini-Z does in fact absorb water vapor in small chambers and load locks faster by using the 185 nanometer UVC radiation to excite the water vapor molecules, just the same way that our UVB100 product does. So for more information, please contact us at rvdinstruments.com or you can call us at 541-330-0723, extension 310. When you go to rvdinstruments.com, just click on the Water Vapor Desorption Products link, and there you'll see the information for the Mini-Z Water Vapor Desorption System, as well as our UVB100 product. Thanks for watching.